In the fast-paced business world of the 90s, time is money. And as Pat Kiernan reports tonight, nobody likes to be cheated out of a few precious seconds. What? As if it's expired already. You ever have this happen? You put an hour's worth of coins in a parking meter and you come back 55 minutes later, the thing's already expired? I mean, how accurate can these things be anyway? Okay, let's see what we got for change here. I don't have enough change. You wouldn't have to have any quarters, would you, John? Uh, yeah. $10 worth enough? $10 would be fine. I'm off. We're putting 10 parking meters to the test in this deserted block of 103rd Avenue. One quarter buys us 15 minutes. While we're waiting, we meet somebody else who also has a few doubts about parking meter accuracy. You ever get this where you put like your 15 minutes worth in and you come back and, and you swear that you had more time? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I get that lots of times. What happens? Sir? It's wrong, totally wrong. But if this block is any indication of how Edmonton's parking meters perform, we've got nothing to worry about. We're talking like a uh, minute 15 extra. Every meter on the block gave us more than 15 minutes, from a low of 1521 to a high of 1645. On average, we got 67 seconds for free. If we get any complaints at all about parking meters, come out, take the head off, take it into the shop, and test it with a digital timer over a 24-hour period. If there really is a problem, your ticket will be overturned. And if you still don't trust those old mechanical meters, well, Maybe this is the answer to the city's new digital parking meters. Hey, you got any more quarters, John? Okay, well, maybe we'll do it another day. Pat Kiernan, CFR and I wouldn't snooze.